should have seen it coming, shouldn't we? We should have just expected this. I mean, this whole year has been very... I'm, I'm, I'm still get, I'm, I'm I'm still adjusting. I mean, there there there's a there's a glimmer of hope for one day. Things might not be so bad. Things might not be so so expected. But of course, like the rest of you, we got the news this morning that. It is official. It is something that we have to accept now. Go on about our daily lives. To carry on with a stiff upper lip and accept that this is this is now it's now canon. This is canonical. This is going to be in all the writing. This will be this will be official. They finally revealed who is queer in the Overwatch community, the massive collection of characters and and so forth, and come to find out it's Tracer, the actual mascot of of the game, which in itself is unique and, and different. I mean, there hasn't been a a gay character headlining a mainstream game in, in quite a while, at least not since Fear Effect. I mean, yeah, there's fan art of Lara Croft with every Amazonian vixen out there. And, I mean, you know, lots of cheesecake stuff with the girls from Danger Girl and, you know, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, at least one interpretation of Spider-Woman, I believe. Black Widow being a spy, she's had to do what it takes to get the job done from Mother Russia, but I don't think she ever actually identified. You know what? Maybe this isn't as, as much of a big deal as we should make it. I mean, it's cool that that we have a likable lesbian as, you know, the girl on the cover... And this one's of age, so it's not like the, the girl from The Last of Us who, if you've ever seen some of that cosplay, that's creepy beyond belief, especially since they're both supposed to be gay and it's always couples doing this. And it's like, no, that's, that's right. She's like 15, so no, stop it. We're not in Japan. Calm down. But yeah, everyone... Everyone's been flipping their shit one way or another over Tracer being a lesbian. Like, okay, I mean, yeah, it was a curveball. They said that this is going to happen, that it would be revealed that someone within the Overwatch community was going to be different. I mean, thank God they didn't do anything with Winston, because, you know, the... That's just, you know, he, he's an ape. He, he, he's an animal. Him having any sexual inclinations for anything non-ape related is, oh, wrong. But I guess this also means that he's probably hetero and cis, which is a bad sign, because last time I checked, when a heterosexual ape pursues a woman, it never ends well for the ape. 
Although I really thought it would have been funny if like him or Zenyatta would have come out as Ace. Because then the shipping community could just blow a huge gasket over that, which would have been the whole reason why anyone made a big deal about this to begin with. Which is what it all comes down to. Who do you get to ship her with? That was the big deal. And everyone, of course, has made a strange inclinations about the character McCree, the cowboy. Because he just seems kind of flirtatious, and one of his costumes looks a lot like, you know, Doc Holliday, who, last I checked, according to history books, was a boozehound gambler that really loved women, but he did seem the smooth talking southerner type that may or may not, if with a few whiskey shooters, asked to see a gun belt. But yeah, people... People have actually gotten really uppity about this. I mean, some, some of course, are championing, championing it. Championing, I'm talking like one of them. But they are championing the whole idea. Hey, yeah, that's great. She's a, she's a positive role model. You know, it's not Zarya, thank God, you know. Big muscle-bound Russian. Oh, yeah, she, yeah, she's a lesbian. No, thankfully, it's, that's not the case. And I knew they wouldn't go that route, but the rest of it, man, we were all placing bets for a while. It's like, all right, all right, I, I got five to one McCree's by. I got five to one McCree's by. You taking those odds? All right, let's go, let's go. And then you had that one person who was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if Tracy was just a lesbian? I mean, I mean she didn't have to be like the typical man-hating, you know, flannel-wearing you know, castrating type, you know, just this bubbly, fun-loving little, like, like, pixie that just happens to like girls, uh, I mean, could you see her totally flirting with Widowmaker, which they do? But, honestly, cool, hey, you know, it was going to happen. And if she wasn't in canon, you'd make her for your own stories and fan art, whatever the case may be. So it doesn't matter. You know, she's still hetero if you want her to be hetero. Because she's a fictional character, you know? If, if, I mean, if anything, this is going to start a bunch of, and I'm calling it right now, fix fiction, heavy on the air quotes, where, you know, one of the male characters is going to convert her one way or another. And if that stuff does start spilling over, at least let it be because he's a decent human being and not because of the size of his robotic dick. Because you know it'd be, it'd be Genji. And they could make some big joke like, well, he's pretty much a vibrator, so it's okay. Speaking of Overwatch's version of Raiden, he's apparently being paired up with Mercy. You know, the German, I'm sorry, Swiss mad scientist, oh, I'm sorry, Doctor of Scientific Medicine. I had her pegged the moment I saw her. She goes by the name Mercy, she dresses like an angel, she's into medicine, she kills people. I mean, thankfully they didn't go with just another German mad doctor that happens to play God. But to just do a gender flip and go one country over? R really? Like that? Like that's it? That's that? That's what you're doing? Eh. Okay. Cool. So I guess you could say Genji might have some Stockholm syndrome. Well, those are the two big deals people are making right now, is that 
Genji is Kanan with Mercy, and Tracer is a lesbian. Big deal. The, the, this is this is you're, you're distracting yourself from the other stuff, right? It, you, you clearly are. You clearly, clearly are, because I am. That's why I have this channel. This is as much therapy as it is entertainment. So, hope you all continue to enjoy Overwatch. Hopefully this doesn't ruin it for you. If it does ruin it for you, you need to just pack your games up and stop. Honestly. These are fictional characters for your entertainment. So, <laughs> ch chill out. Chill out, please. We are begging you. I mean, Scorch is looking at me right now, just like, uh, I feel you. And he just caught a rat. He he's really paying his part of rent this month. Damn. Damn. All right, folks. I gotta I gotta go before we have a little rat-sized puddle over here. So y'all have a good day. And no, I'm not gonna record that. You sick, sick hyenas. drop this little editorial on them since my birthday's coming up and everything I should probably start doing a series of things that just makes me happy oh god no